Hey everyone, welcome to today's quick look at Children of Morta. Now, first off, see if you can watch this opening with all of its incredible metal art and not freak out like I did. Margaret awoke, startled, a cold sweat clinging to her. She gathered her thoughts. Aged wood creaked, echoing through the quiet rooms. Near the house stood a shrine to Rhea Dana, goddess and daughter of the land, of Rhea and a being of comfort. Margaret sought answers. But the goddess did not speak. There was only the faint whisper of something dark something hungry. The old seer's bones felt the weight of their age as she climbed. The only thought on her mind, has it begun again? John's mission would be a simple one. He was to investigate Rhea's greatest shrine. His mother presented him with a fresh divinity shard. From his brother came a newly sharpened sword. His wife, gave him a kiss, and his daughter's hugs were full of reason to return home safe. Cool. So at some point this got on my radar, I went, oh, that'll be nice in 2022 or whatever, just being kind of cynical about release dates for indie games I'm looking forward to. And then I just saw it had a section at PAX, and oh shit, it came out like a day after PAX. So it's a roguelite, uh, meaning that there are progression elements that persist outside of uh, the the run that you're on. And I will let everything else about this game speak for itself. It's real good. Jesus Christ, it's like the entire facade of the building is stained glass, but on stone, it's so pretty. Uh, so within the house, we have numerous avenues for character progression. Permanent char uh, character progression Uncle at that. Uncle Ben pondered over a map he received from a refugee. The silk caverns were a twisted maze of dead ends and venomous nests, but somewhere along the right path, Anea Dyer spirit of the Caldipo Caves rested. I think that might be based on something that I picked up there on uh, my first run. I've done a grand total of one run through. Uh, not to completion, mind you. I died somewhere to... Oh no, I died to the boss of uh, the first level. Let's visit the workshop real quick. 
So we have the Book of Rhea, along with all of these skills. This one is locked for now. We can buy these, I want to say, with gold. Yep. Oh, man, I don't think I would hate movement speed. Base attack damage, too. That's cheap as well. I think movement speed, though. That's one of the ways to go. And then I have insufficient gold to improve that further. Yes, max health, sure. And then we still have enough for that. And then we didn't even look at the Book of Rhea. Which I can't get over to? Hmm, okay. And then what else? We also have the library. Just a codex and a few other things. Some information on things you've already found in uh, the dungeon once. Now we can move on. God, the art of this game is so amazing! <laughs> and the Kill Dippo Caves. So we're going to be starting off on the first of three levels of the Silk Caverns. And then we also get to choose between Linda, John, or I'm assuming other party members will unlock later. I want this Shao Kahn dude on the left of Linda. Uh, and then there's also co-op and these. There is so much going on here. This reminds me of, um, oh man, of CVS. Choose John's groove. There we go. We have one skill point left over. We could put it in Shield of Thorns. Might try that out. And just like that, we'll also unlock this tier. Oh, and that's all family members? Cool. Then there's also a way to respec, but we don't have the item to respec just yet. So we're going to start with John. We have our skills, our loadout, everything ready to go. Mmm, 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 mmm. See how it has kind of a, a Diablo 3 aesthetic in a way? It's, right away, it's, it, it's just got that, uh, that kind of... Hmm. I don't know the best way to put it. It's got a similar kind of aesthetic that a lot of Diablo 3 had going on. Ooh, that's gonna be a good, good kill streak to start. Oh, and you get bonus gold for those streaks. The little spiders are actually way more annoying. Not necessarily threatening, but more annoying than they look. They have the easiest times. The smaller they are, this is especially true. Slipping past your defenses. Woo! That was all of them at once. That's so good. I don't think I have a gemstone. No, I do. I think that's the green two in the lower left of the UI. Let's see. Yes, it is. So those are essentially just locked treasure chests. There's some health that I don't need. I know there are Diablo-esque shrines, too. Uh, I didn't find any in my first run of the full release game, but when I was playing at PAX, I did. Found quite a few, actually. You know, it might be a placebo, but I actually do notice that movement speed increase quite a bit. Now we're back down to zero gemstones or shards or whatever. Oh shit, these ones spit web. And then there's another variant of spider later. Uh, which... Oh, good. Got them all in that arc. 
Uh, there's another variety of spider later, which shoots acid. God, that's a flamboyant animation. Oop. Almost took a hit. I gotta say, this run is going infinitely better than the first. Uh, what I found in my first few runs of Morta, both at PAX and on the, uh, the live release, is that it's way easier than you think to take chip damage, to take just a little plink here, a little scratch there. Huh. What is that? We'll check it out. Oh, the loads are so much better than the PAX build? The that would have been like a minute and a half at PAX. Coated the ground and walls. Evidence of the silk caverns living up to their name. That heaven strike thing is super good. Also, it's a little like dead cells in that you get to spam your abilities. They recharge super quick. Or Wizard of Legend, too. Uh, so this is just your starting loadout, by the way. You have your sword swing. You have the ability attached to Y, which I think is always the same thing. That little rain of swords. And then B is a shield block. Uh, and it also ties into that blue meter below the health in the lower left, which is your stamina. I think that's only tied to when you're blocking. I don't think anything else that I've seen, anyway, consumes stamina. And then even if we do get into a little bit of trouble, we have plenty of health pickups around. Oh fuck, we actually took a hit. We have health pickups around. Oh shit, that's an elite. All right. Oh fuck. Okay, so the occasional void zones are his doing? It's just you know, going through a routine of like blocking and attacking. It's hard to see because uh, from some angles, the guard animation is really subtle. Like from the back, you can barely see it. You can hear it a little bit. We have spike traps. Another gemstone. This is all good shit. Oh, is this a guaranteed treasure room? He owns a portion of your life once in a while. Okay. I mean, that's a pretty good item. Just a random occasional heal? I guess it depends on how much it's for, but that's not bad. Uh, the Oh, there's the poison spitting bastard. I think he also hatches friends. Uh, oh yeah, I was saying the last... Oh, they can't cross this? Cool. Uh, the last run I was doing, I got one of these little buddies that occasionally just put out an AoE stun. And it was a big AoE, too. That thing rocked. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, I hate the bats most of all. They're so swift. Swift and un- oh fuck, elite. Okay. Oh, it's one of these too. He forms uh, the poison puddles. Oh, the bat's kind of annoying here. Oh my god. That was a lot of damage to take. For not very much. Oh, there was a heal though. And I will occasionally just get healed a little bit from my buddy. My buddy pal. Uh, man, that's a lot of gold, but not any items or relics. I was hoping for a little more. Just a little tiny bit more. Aww. 
something. Something, something, something. Oh, hello. I think that might move me forward. Tired of being called shady, he instead adopted the title Mysterious Shopkeep. Oh, these cost not gold, but gemstones. Fuck. Okay. Can I roll through pots or break them? Ooh, and I did get a bit of gold. Well, we'll come back to that. Because we still have a few fair rooms to check out. I'll get out of here. Yeah, at some point I went back up to full health. Nice. What is that all? Oh. I gotta say, gold is not the most exciting thing to get. Even though it has such a, a well-defined and practical purpose. I don't know. There's something about it where I'm just like, ah. It's not flashy or exciting. Please stop hatching, friends. I beg of you. Oh, they're the worst. And then it doesn't look like this goes any further, but we want to confirm. Because it does. It does go further. This way. I wish, like, Gungeon, it had, um... Oh, the teleportation system on the map. Yeah, this extra little burst of movement speed makes repositioning so much easier. And I think a lot of the combat comes down to uh, subtle repositioning. Oh, this draws us in. Cool. That's what that do. Wow, this cavern is huge for the first level. And I crit. Oh. This cavern is gigantic. What oh, hey. thing could have dragged grandmother this far? A well of rain will flow in those still obelisks to aid the guardians. This was the only thing Margaret silently whispered. Oh, that's how I get stuff for the Book of Rhea. Oh, shit. Oh, in a shrine. Move at greater speed for a limited duration. First, can I do anything more with this? Oh, wait, is that going to teleport me? To... Oh, uh hold on. Is that what the glyph and the D-pad up in the upper right is? Well, first I'm going to check out some more of these unexplored... I didn't even realize this other shrine was here. Does this replace the buff? I think it does. You can't stack them, it looks like. Oh, fuck. When did this repopulate? That's not why I want it at all. I just want to mind my business and come up here. Because we did not explore any of this. I would still like something for my RB attack, too. I think that would be awful nice. Really not too much here Generous unless what is this? Was vital to any concoction with the purpose of healing. While naturally poisonous, okay. any skilled brewmaker could extract the important properties without danger. So is that something for outside the dungeon? No, I have been here, right? This was where I got Yeah, okay. Cool. So now I'm gonna hold up on this. It's charging something. Okay, cool. That brings me back to this room with this glyph, which I think is the end room.
Awesome. So there is limited teleportation. Ring of Ambition. Corpses have less chance to get corrupted and spawn enemies. I didn't know that was a system. Great. Loving that. I give you a small reward for getting this far, too. Just chest for free. Yeah, I'll take every piece of gold I can get. All eight eyes. Oh, what the fuck? The one so willing to walk into their own tomb. Boss fight already? I thought I had wait. I thought I had like multiple levels more to go through. Oh fuck! I blew that. Oh my god. This boss. I don't know how to deal with this boss properly. Because of the ads. The ads complicate this so much. And then the webs. Fuck. It feels super hard to find time to fight back. Oh, and then you're getting hit from, like, multiple angles. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm definitely going to lose. Oh, it's coming down. I did get a random heal just now. Which might keep me uh, in this for a minute. This is better than I did the first time I fought her, but still, God, it's so brutal. Oh, there it is. Those ads, plus the webbing, provides a real, real brutal challenge. Oh, we're gonna get some backstory, too. This is the other thing I like. It reminds me of Death's Gambit. A set of daggers made just for him. In, they would be his guide to finding himself. In that his even after you point, die, you get story progression. The boy tested them. They felt good. Not too heavy, not too light. Like an extension of himself. Uncle Ben suggested a few practice swings outside. The daggers sliced the air, guided with an easy grace. His nephew was clearly a natural with the blades and would be ready to join his father and sister in no time. But the boy's mother had words on that subject. Two of her children were already risking their lives and she would not have her precious little boy out there as well. Regretfully, he took the daggers away. Who was he to argue with a mother when it involved her child? Handing over the daggers was like abandoning a part of himself. He was meant for them, meant to be out there fighting for what was right. He just needed to convince them. Oh, so we're building up to the unlock for the next character. Whenever Margaret deciphers a tablet, Rhea reveals something new to the Bergsons. Given enough resources, she'll, uh, she will then be able to strengthen the family. Cool. The mysteries of the world were like open books to the wise. Oh. And words from the wise now it's unlocked. shall benefit man and beast. There we go. Okay. 
one we have is our first one. Obelisk Remembrance increases efficiency of obelisk effects. And then increases amount of experience gained, increases rate at which gemstones are dropped. Grants a second divine relic slot, decreases cooldown of relics. Unlocks runes for various slots, increases runes durability. Oh shit. Uh, this, this game's real dope. Please do not let it get lost in a shuffle. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.